Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be reacting to a person, okay? And we're just gonna say that. But the thing is, is I've been losing inspiration to make videos, and it's not because I'm lazy. But it's because I'm lazy. And uh, we're going to be just reacting to the inspiration hub themselves, Dara Man. Um, as I'm doing my time lapses, I've been watching a lot of Dara Man uh, on the gaming channel, which you should go sub to, actually, always be plugging. And um, I figured that we would watch it. And uh, this video popped up in my feed like two days ago. And I watched a little bit of it because the thumbnail just threw me off. I thought it was so hilarious. Uh, it's about a girl who can't spell, I think, and like... The thumbnail is just like all hope is <laughs> all hope is lost kind of look, and that's just hilarious. <clears throat> but anyway, we're gonna look at this and uh, see what Darn Man himself has to offer. So without further ado, I don't want to stall or anything like that. But let's just get right into the video. Excellent, Natalie. Go ahead, spell that. That's easy. Excellence. E X C E L L E N T. Excellence. Excellent work. <laughs> She's so proud of herself for spelling excellent, which is not very impressive. If she's in middle school and she can spell excellent, that's amazing. That's cool. But it's not nothing to be proud of. <laughs> Okay, so our last word. What are they in? Like middle school? They got the cool ass on the thing. The teachers never let me draw on the board. Every time I want to draw on the board, they get angry at me. So, spelling bee practice. Sheesh. Dead meme. Word will be resilient. Dana, would you spell that for us? I hate when teachers do this. They always call on you when you don't have your hand up. Why? If we don't have our hand up, then we don't want to participate. The more you know. Spell that for us. Okay. Resilient. R E S I L E. Wrong. Ah, <laughs> uh, you. Make Okay, this Natalie girl, she sounds like a real Okay? Like, you don't have to be such a dick about it, okay? She can't spell, I can't spell. I mean, I can try. But, when I do... It, it, okay, so it's words that usually confuse me. Uh, you mixed up your I and E again, I'm sorry. You know what? Your new name should be Dyslexic Dana. Hey, Natalie. <laughs> Cut that out. Oh my god, Natalie. You're so funny. Oh my god, that joke was so funny. That was the funniest joke I've ever heard in my life. Dana. Hey, <laughs> Natalie, cut that out, okay? It's not nice to make fun of people's learning disabilities. Dana, you're okay. You did great. Okay, everybody, don't forget the Hawkins Beehive Spelling Bee is in two weeks. And the winner receives, ooh, the Beehive Spelling Bee Trophy. Ah, yeah, wow. So, if you want to enter... I don't like any of these characters so far. I don't like Natalie. I don't like Dana. I mean, Dana's okay, I guess. Teacher, he just seems a little weird to me. So, if you want to enter, come on up and get a flyer. Thank you. Natalie. Dana, are you gonna enter the spelling bee? No, Mr. Willis. Why not, you don't want to? I'm competing in the spelling bee. That sounds like a dream, but I mix up my lips. Okay, I got a question. I don't mean to be rude, but why does this girl look like she's homeless? Okay. She looks like she's homeless. She looks like she, she... Other kids go home. She goes around the school and then sits next to the dumpster. That's what she looks like. I don't mean to be rude. I'm just saying that's what she looks like. I mix up my letters a lot. And 
not very smart. Hey, listen to me. Having a learning disability does not mean that you are not smart. It just means that you learn differently. So you just need to be more resilient. Huh? Okay. So take one of those. And take this. Spelling note cards. Mr. Willis, that's cheating. You can't do that. You can't do that. You're giving her answers. You cannot do that. That is illegal. The cops will be called. Mr. Willis, I thought you knew better. And practice. Thanks. Okay. Get out of here. Conquer. C O N Q E U R. Conquer. Oh, again, this is so hard. Hey! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Watch where you're going. Wait, don't tell me you're actually thinking about entering the spelling bee. Um, yeah, I'm practicing for it, why? <laughs> Can you even spell practice? Are you gonna get your I's and your E's mixed up again? Get real, you're not smart enough to win. Well, Mr. Willis, it's just because I learn differently doesn't mean I'm not smart. He's just being nice, dyslexic Dana. These cards can't save you. Nothing can. Bye. There's no reason whatsoever for her to be this much of a dick. I mean, I understand, I just left middle school going into high school now, but like, middle school kids, the bullies and stuff, they go inside the things that hurt you the most, but this is just a dick. Like, what? why do you have to be so mean? Hey, my note cards, I can't believe it, they're all ruined. Dana, what happened? I should have never tried to enter the spelling bee. I'll never be smart enough to win. Hey, don't say that. You can still win. Oh yeah, how would you know? You don't know what it's like to have dyslexia. Actually, I know pr Oh, plot twist, Mr. Willis has dyslexia. None of us saw that coming. Except me, because, you know. I know pretty well what it's like to have dyslexia, because I've been struggling with it my whole life. What you have? Yes, but I don't let it stop me. Do you know I actually won the spelling bee? 20 years ago. That's me on the night I won. Carrying a picture around of him winning the spelling bee with his mom? My English teacher. His English teacher. So he, he doesn't, oh, so yeah, I'm just gonna have a picture of my, me and my English teacher in my wallet. De not my kids, not, not my dog, not, not my, not my, not my girlfriend. None of that, no, 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 no. we don't, we don't need that. Mm, mm, no. No, no, we got a picture of my, English teacher. And my English teacher believed in me. I didn't think I was smart enough to win, but she taught me the exact thing that I am trying to teach you. Having a learning disability does not mean that you are not smart. It just means that you learn differently. Oh my gosh. Take conquer. Before you spell it, just Sound it out slowly. Conquer. Start tapping. Find a rhythm and say each letter slowly. We'll see if this works. C O. Conquer. C. Oh, 
Mr. Willis, again, man, you're cheating. You can't teach her all this stuff. Yes. Dana, that's called finger tap spell. You are so smart. You just learn differently. Okay, come on. Let's keep going. With Mr. Willis helping Dana, she now starts to discover new ways of learning that work for her. She learns to tap while spelling out loud. The beat helps her put the letters in the proper order. She practices spelling while jumping rope. She finds a rhythm helps her learn faster. She discovers all these new learning tools to help her overcome her dyslexia. Dana was spelling words she never even thought would be possible. And then came the day of the spelling bee. Dana gets asked a lot of challenging words and each time spells them correctly. She keeps moving up the ranks and beating one opponent after the next. She makes it all the way to the last round. Only- Oh, oh you know it's gonna be good. Hold on a second. How did she not get dress coded yet? She, you can't wear a crop top in school. What do you think this is? Not school? Because it isn't, because she would get dress coded. Against? Natalie. And now for the final round of the Hawkins Middle School annual Beehive Spelling Bee, Natalie. Your word is intelligence. Intelligence. That's so easy. <laughs> you might as well just give me the trophy. <laughs> intelligence. I N T E L I. Stupid. You're stupid. That's two L's. Told you. Don't be so proud of yourself. That's the one thing that's gonna knock you down. Okay, so if they do a backtrack of the beginning, they're like, hey, Dana, spell resilient. I'm gonna just get up and leave. Because that's, that's just corny. L-I-G-E-N-C-E. -E. Intelligence. That is incorrect. Intelligence has two L's. No, 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 no. That was an accident. I want to try again. No, I'm sorry. Rules are rules. If you can spell this next word correctly, you win the trophy. And that word is... Resilience. Okay. Resilience. R E S I L <laughs> Mr. Willis, you're helping her cheat by tapping. You can't do that. Mr. Willis, my goodness, you can't do that. I E N I E C E N. That is. E. That is. Correct. <laughs> And the winner of the 2021 Beehive Trophy is... That's not fair! How can someone with dyslexia beat me? You're obviously Beehive not smart Trophy enough. Is. That's not fair! Well, How can someone with dyslexia beat me? I didn't me? think I was smart enough either. You see, Natalie, uh, you only have intelligence with one L. Well, Dana over here has intelligence with two Ls. Now, would you please excuse Dana as she takes the spelling bee trophy to the back of the school and admires it because she has no home? Either. But then someone reminded me that just because you have a learning disability doesn't mean you're not smart. It just means you learn differently. 
whatever. Hey, Darman. Well, that was interesting. Now, the thing about why Darman scares me is the fact that, like, I feel like he could have avoided a lot of things that he gets himself into, like, for instance, coming in at the end of the frame, or at the end of the video, and he's just like, Hey, Darman fam, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one. And it was at that moment that, that Dana learned that just because you have a learning disability doesn't mean you're not smart, it just means that you learn differently. Anyways, fam, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you in the next one. Like, I feel like he could have avoided that. And, um... That's really all I have to say about a darn man. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And it seems as though that uh, finger tap spelling, you know, the thing, really worked for Dana. So I'm going to see if I can try that. S-U-B-S-C-I-R-B-E. Subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you to Phil 84 for being our most recent subscriber. If you want me to butcher your name down below, please hit the subscribe button and I will gladly do so. Also, subscribe to the gaming channel right here. And yeah, just enjoy the video. And I'm so glad that you stopped by. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And um, contact me at gizmo1012business at gmail.com for an editing position. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.